Shabbat Shalom. This is Larry Mitchell. We are going verse by verse through the apocalypse. And this morning we are going to look at the seventh bowl. The earth is utterly shaken. Revelation 16, 17 to 21. Then the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and a loud voice came out of the temple of God of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were noises and thunderings and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such mighty and great earthquake that had not occurred since men were on the earth. Now the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon was remembered before God to give her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Then every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. And great hail from heaven fell upon men, each hailstone about the weight of a talent. Men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, since the plague was exceedingly great. One of the birth pangs of the Messiah will be earthquakes in diverse places. Matthew 24, 3 to 8. Now as Jesus sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming in the end of the age? And Jesus answered them and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, I am the Messiah, and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that you are not in trouble. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation must rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. There will be many earthquakes all over the world, but the mother of all earthquakes will occur at the end of the tribulation period. The prophet Isaiah describes it this way, The earth is violently broken, the earth is split open, and the earth is shaken exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall totter like a hut. Its transgression shall be heavy upon it, and it will fall and not rise again. Revelation 16.20 describes it this way, Then every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. God remembers Babylon and announces he's going to pour out his wrath upon them. There are three cities identified as Babylon. Number one, ancient Babylon, which was located in Iraq. It has already been judged by God, and this announcement in the apocalypse does not apply to it. Jeremiah 50, 30, Because of the wrath of the Lord, she shall not be inhabited, but she shall be wholly desolate. Everyone who goes by Babylon shall be horrified and hiss at all her plagues. Babylon Mystery Religion this is the mother of all religious harlots. It is not centered in ancient Babylon, but its headquarters are located in the city of Seven Hills. Its religion will look like pagan Babylon. Its judgment is described in Revelation chapter 17. It will be destroyed by the 10 kings who follow the Antichrist. Revelation 17:5. On her forehead was name was written, Mystery Babylon the Great, Mother of Harlots and of the Abominations of the Earth. Revelation 17, 9, Here is the mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. And the Revelation 17, 15, and 16, He said to me, The waters which you saw where the harlot sits are peoples, multitudes, and nations, and tongues. And the ten horns which you saw on the beast, these will hate the harlot, make her desolate and naked, eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. The third Babylon is Babylon the Great. This will be the center of world commerce. It cannot be located in ancient Babylon, nor can it be referring to Rome, for the city is a great port city. The judgment of Babylon the Great is described in Revelation 18. Revelation 18, 17 to 19. For in one hour such great riches came to nothing. Every ship master, all who travel by ship, sailors, and as many as trade on the sea stood at a distance and cried out when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, 
What city is like this great city? And they threw dust on their heads and cried out, weeping and wailing and saying, Alas, alas, a great city in which all who had ships on the sea became rich by her wealth, for in one hour she is made desolate. Revelation 18, 20 and 21. Then a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence the great city Babylon shall be thrown down, and it shall not be found any more. Next week we're going to see a parenthesis where the book of the Revelation will describe Babylon mystery religion in chapter 17 and Babylon the Great in Revelation chapter 18. We'll spend a little bit of time looking at Babylon mystery religion and Babylon the Great and try to come up with an understanding of what those two cities represent. Shabbat Shalom. This is Larry Mitchell.